It's one of them days. Can't do any more on the bathroom because I'm waiting for one connection, a pipe splitter, which is just, I don't know where it's coming from, but it's not arrived yet. So I've decided I know the dimensions and I'm going to build the bench seat. Now, take into consideration, this is the Truma Combi 4E boiler. I see my mate a B Jam van fitting one of these to his van, so I thought if it's good enough for Ben, it's good enough for me. And he's done a wonderful job, by the way. It was perfect. It's going under the bench seats. Now, I originally wanted the bench seat coming out to about here because you don't want it too long because your legs, it all needs to fit. But because of this big ass bitch, we're kind of screwed. So, what I've done is. I've cut four beams, two for the back, two for the front, two beams to go in, yes it might be overkill with the 3v2, but I don't really care. We're going to screw this frame all together, then we're going to make a top frame about there, then we're going to do some legs coming up, screw it all together and make the base for the actual seating area. Wish this wasn't so big. But there's nothing I can really do about it, is there? You know what I mean? It's... It is what it is. Right, well, that's that built. And as you can probably tell by the t-shirt and the hat's the same, it's the next day. Right, the bench seat is done. What else have I done? Well, I built the framework for the piece that goes in front of the seats. I've also cut the top as well. This is going to be storage, so that is going to basically sit on top of there like that and it will match in with the floor I just need to get some edge and trim for around the edges of that and that's that done hinge it all up and then finish the back end put in one of the vents for the heater there one of the vents for the heater there I've got a grill to go on there basically for airflow right so on the front and the sides of the actual lift up drawer you can see now I put the hinges on um, we're going to be fitting this stuff which is just slip proof edging we've used it on the front here so I thought we may as well finish the front of the box off with this as well, so we're all tied in to the front of the van. So we just need to cut this, put an angle on it, and then it'll all fit in just nice. Right, so that's the edge and strip on the actual front. Just got to clean it up because the dust just seems to gather dust really bad. Um, one thing I am going to do is I'm going to change the vent that's in there, and I want it to be a right angled vent so what I've done is I've taken another vent and I've just put this piece of corrugated kind of piping in there and I've also got one of these which is a, obviously a right angle so I'm gonna put that in there stick that on there I'm just gonna take this up because it doesn't need to be that solid and then that will give a perfect line for the air vent to go straight through and into the boiler so we can change that dead easy literally by lifting this up and that's it that is on and in place 
Now all we need to do is put the connection pipe on there and run that straight to the boiler. So that's it, that's the seating finished. All the bench seats finished, the grills in, the airlines in, the 240 hook ups in and the 240 off the inverter in there is in as well. And also we've got the step done, all finished off with the air vent in as well. And like I said, the step will lift up and it gives you low it gives you some access to some storage underneath for some shoes or things like that anything you want to put underneath because otherwise it would just be a waste of space plenty of storage under there the boiler is going in there all the cables are all tidied away and look good and if you want to keep this open small block of wood and it works perfect you think the sound need to bring the bass in It wasn't a very hard job, it was just a case of working the measurements out, which I didn't do. Um, also one trick as well, well not a trick, bit of a tip. On the headrest, like you've seen when I was making it, I actually well trimmed the back of this. The reason I've done that is because if you're looking in from the window and the back of it, it's just all well trimmed. It's well trimmed right down there because there's a bit of a gap down there. It doesn't go anywhere, you can put stuff down there, but it's just more cosmetic if you're looking from the outside. This is all finished off and it's all belted and it all looks nice. We just need to make the cushions now. I'm going to go and get some foam, do the back, do the front. We don't know what colour to go with, but if you have any suggestions on colours, leave it in the comment section. Right, well, that's about it from me. Um, I'm going to go and carry on doing probably some tidying up, stuff like that. Don't forget, leave us a comment, give us a thumbs up. Also, a big shout out to our channel members as well. Thank you very much. The support is gratefully received and if you want to become a channel member there's a little button down here somewhere it says join get out there come build a van do something whatever you do do it well and i'll see you soon won't be that long anyway loads to do here so nearly done though we're nearly done see ya <laughs>